Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. In previous video, we have studied what is definition of switchgears. Basically, switchgear consists of all the devices which are connected in the power system. In this video, we are going to study what are the various types of switchgear devices. So, depending upon the system voltage, the switchgear devices are basically classified as first low voltage switchgear. Generally, the electrical switchgear, which is rated up to 1 kV, is called as low voltage switchgear. Diagram shows the example of low voltage switchgear. Low voltage switchgear mainly includes the following parts first is low voltage circuit breaker, second, switches, third, on off electrical isolators, fourth, HRC fuse, then earth leakage circuit breaker, ELCB. Miniature circuit breaker MCB, molded case circuit breaker. Second type is indoor switchgear. Indoor switchgear is mostly used for the medium voltage switchgear and it is enclosed in the metal enclosure. This metal enclosure is mostly grounded. Then indoor switchgear basically consists of gas insulated system. Now indoor switchgear are also of two types. First is metal enclosed indoor switchgear and second is metal clad indoor switchgear. The gas insulated system which is used for the indoor switchgear basically uses the SF6 gas that is sulfur hexafluoride. This SF6 gas is used because it has very superior dielectric properties. Now let us study what are the various types of indoor switchgear. First metal enclosed indoor switchgear. This switchgear arrangement has metal enclosure from all sides. All the pieces are enclosed in the central assembly. It basically has three compartments. Front compartment is for circuit breaker. Top compartment is for bus bar assembly. Rear compartment is for current transformer and connections. Generally this type of switchgear has various metal compartments and these metal compartments are earth. Hence it is called as enclosed type of switchgear. This is the example of metal enclosed indoor switchgear. B metal clad switchgear. In metal clad switchgear basically vacuum type circuit breakers are used which can be removed outside the metal box. Relaying and metering instruments used are basically grounded. The voltage level for metal clad switchgear is 4.76 kV to 38 kV and the main bus continuous rating is 1 kV, 2 kA, 3 kA, 4 kA. Basically all metal clad switchgear are metal enclosed switchgear but all metal enclosed switchgear are not the metal clad switchgear. Figure shows the example of metal clad switchgear. Now let us see what are the advantages of indoor switchgear. First is it is more reliable and safe. Second is as it is the indoor switchgear it requires the lesser space. Then the maintenance of indoor switchgear is easier. Its operating cost is low. As the metal enclosures are grounded the risk of electrocuting is reduced. The security for indoor switchgear is more. Then it is lesser prone to environmental condition. The meaning of this is that as the indoor switchgear is constructed inside the box the environment conditions do not affect the indoor switchgear. Now let us see what are the limitations of indoor switchgear. The most important and the only limitation of the indoor switchgear is that it has a very high installation cost. Now next type of switchgear is high voltage switchgear. The switchgear which deals with the voltage rating of 36 kV and above is called as high voltage switchgear. Now as the voltage level is high, the arcing produced during the switching is also very high. Hence the special care should be taken while designing the operators of the switchgear. The circuit breakers used for this type of switchgear are minimum oil circuit breaker, air blast circuit breaker and SF6 circuit breaker. High voltage switchgear are further divided as gas insulated indoor type and air insulated outdoor type. Now let us study the gas insulated indoor type switchgear. The figure shows the gas insulated indoor type switchgear. Now the main obstacle while establishing a load center is the availability of space. This problem can be solved by using the glass insulated indoor switchgear. As this type of switchgear is indoor, the space required for installation of such type of switchgear is very less. In this step, all the components that are required can be assembled in very less space. Hence, it is a kind of metal enclosed switchgear. All the equipments of the switchgear are enclosed in the gas tight metal box and sulfur hexafluoride gas is used for the insulation. This type of switchgear is available from 12 kV to 800 kV. Next is air insulated outdoor type. It is again of two types. First is dead tank type circuit breaker. In this time switching devices is placed inside the vessel with the ground having the insulating medium. 
then second is line tank type circuit breaker it is cheaper as compared to the dead tank type in this type switching devices is located at insulated bushing so these are the various types of switch gear thank you friends for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and do subscribe our channel ikeda thank you